Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to part 32 of my Super Teens Challenge. And if you are returning, welcome back. And I realized that I had been hoping they would get another vacation day from being at school, but they didn't. So they only have one left. They only have one left still. And I have Freddy trying to play a game. I think he might be, yeah, he's starting to play his game because he needs to play, maintain focus for two straight hours of video gaming. And obviously one way you can make it easy for the um, moods is to get club vibes. But I also want Grant to be inspired. I think it's Grant. No, actually it's not Grant. I should probably check if Grant needs it too because he is inspired. So he would be a good one uh, to work on the music aspiration. And I'll check. It wasn't Grant, but let's see if he's got that far and got that done. No. So actually, he should play an instrument for an hour while inspired because he is he has three more hours of being inspired. Does he have his violin in his inventory? I'm not seeing it if he does have his violin in his inventory. Let's uh, take a look around. I know I found one around and I gave it to here. Edward. Edward has the one that was I saw laying around and there should be more. Here's another one. So you should not build a scan sand sculpture. We're going to come here and you may as well play with emotion because he is already inspired. Whereas I have asked Edward to bow for inspiration to get inspired because the one thing I usually like to do is have them... Um, cloud gaze or stargaze but you know it's a thunderstorm so they can't really do that so we'll let's uh, let them do those things and I know I started going through to check where they were with their charisma and their their aspirations with respect to the um, friend of the world aspiration and I didn't send her to fabricate another item because she needed a little bit of fun. So I thought she could have a little bit of fun first before I perhaps sent her back to fabricate another one. I may have her do that. Nature. Not nature. I keep going. Popularity. Friend of the world. So she... All right. So she just needs to max her Christmas going. So she's got what she needed done. She needed to get far, the first two tiers done in Friend of the World. And she's like really close to actually getting the aspiration. <laughs> but we'll take her off of that. Just wanted to get her where was where she was on that, and uh, I have got notes on some of them. But so she's already got far enough on the creativity for the musical genius. So we're gonna put her back onto her master maker aspiration. Her fun is max, so she can come here and make another item. She's gonna make another eco upgrade part. That's what I would like her to do, Freddie. I hope you stay the way you're going and Abigail is not Abigail Bonnie is writing a book for her aspiration she kind of needs some fun we kind of need a radio in here actually um because if she's doing writing in here it doesn't really work very well not to have a radio in here so I'm gonna go under electronics and just buy we'll buy this so we got that. So can she reach it and listen? And she wind down with classical. You don't need to set the table. Can you see the radio? I might have to move this picture because it would probably be best to have it there. But it seems like it's okay. And that'll help her with her fun. So that's good. So Edward, you're all inspired, which I want. So why don't you rally the troops? Because I see you're a bit hungry. Rally the troops. And did you leave the violin there? You did. We're just going to stick it out here for you to come here and play with emotion now that you are inspired for 16 hours. <laughs> That's a lot treat. And who are you? What are you testing? It is Tuesday. Oh, you must be testing. You're a nap inspector, obviously, but you just randomly testing things abigail why don't you plant why don't you uh, just why don't you harvest some more dragon fruits and because it would be good to have some more of those uh and then once you're and that's an orchid oh you know what you need to i think you need to fertilize so why don't we put you on to 
the freelance botanist and have you fertilize. We can have you harvest those orchids also and then we'll have you fertilize the orchids. <laughs> that would be good. And, oh, you must have fallen in that mud puddle. I guess I should have just covered this whole area. <laughs> so awful. Don't run inside. You were covered. Oh, so we're in compliance. Yay. And she fell again. And now she's filthy. Okay, well, now that you did all of that, which was silly, because you were right where you need to be and you didn't need to run back inside, you're going to scrubber yourself at some point afterwards. And Nora... Did you make any progress with your logic skill? I know I had you. You got to seven. Good. And we can't even... I just want to turn off this horrible weather. <laughs> it's so bad. Let's let you get to eight. And Freddy... So once Freddy... Oh, he has finished. So he can't do anything. Well, he could get his programming high enough that he could make the video game. But he can't become an adult and... You know, he needs to be a, or, or young adult also qualifies for that. And he obviously can't join the tech guru career until he becomes a young adult. Are you going to fall down, Caleb? <laughs> nope. So you got that done. And Edward, you have got that done. And, oh, Grant, did you get that done? Oh, you did get that done. Very good. So you can stop playing with emotion now that you have. We're not going to buy a basketball. You want to buy an instrument? We'll think about it. We're not buying a sprinkler. We don't need playful sins. You can come here and why don't you try and do that? Oh my goodness. That was a loud lightning. One advantage of going over to Magic HQ is there no lightning over there. So let's just make sure that... Oh, I guess you didn't weren't successful <laughs> I'm thinking with your so she didn't she's still writing her book so hopefully she'll finish soon and once she's finished then we're gonna head over to magic HQ is what we're going to do so that we can see if um you don't you're not magical so you can't actually we need to have Declan scrubber you scrubberoo you magic scrubberoo Let's get you scrubberooed. I never went over everything that Nora learned in the last part. Cause she learned new spells. She learned, um, speaking of, she needs to scrubberoo herself. I, I don't, she learned like a lot of spells. She learned, I'm just going to look. But first I want her to set her up for scrubberooing herself. And then we're going to come in here and, and we're going to look in her spell book. Okay, so for practical magic... She learned Delicioso, trans, no, she learned Coffee Pesto and Herbio. Those are the ones that I remember her learning. And I, she, I know she already had this, these three, and I don't know if she had the Flora L'Oreal already or not. And she learned Home Wardial, which is Return to the Magic Realm, which I think the advantage of that is that you can bring people with you versus... Um, not. So that's under, actually act under Practical Magic. And Rite of Ascension is under there too. I was thinking that it might have been an untamed magic, but it's not. So she has learnt, she has a few of these. I had her working on the mischief towards the end, but then the kids came home and she stopped. She <laughs> stopped. She needed, I think, some fun or something like that. So untamed magic. She learnt Dedeathify and Decursify. And so she, the duplicato is the untamed magic one that she, I don't think we could even do it because we have a full household because that essentially duplicates a sim. So those are, so it's, it's the practical magic is the key one that we want to get done when we're there. So have you finished your book? Was it at least good? Good. It was at least good. So we are going to try this with our Nora. And why don't you stop? And you were going to chat. You don't need to chat with Declan. Is Declan coming over here to ask? Oh, he was un Grant was unable to complete the endurance challenge climb. <laughs> I didn't think he took very long with that. When you're going outside, you're going to fall in that mud puddle and get dirty? <laughs> All right. I guess what we should do is, just for the fun of it, stick her over onto 
the spellcraft and sorcery. So she really needs to do the duels. So maybe we'll like try and learn some magic and do some duels while we're over there. So we're going to try this magic. We're going to spells transportalate to the magic realm. And this I'm pretty sure is the home wardial spell. And of course, like I said, that's the advantage. If you use a glimmer stone, then you can't bring people with you and you have to ask them to come later. And when you use this, you can just bring them all right away with you, which I kind of find handy. So we're going to go over to Magic HQ and I will be back when they get there. Well, we're here at Magic HQ and I actually realized she could probably duel with Declan and then because he's on the same part of the aspiration and if she wins then she gets the benefit and if he wins he gets the benefit and we can see the moats because I gave her the moat site primarily because I wanted her to go up that tier and be able to get the um, hex proof which I'll probably have to use the potion for that. So since we're here, we're going to concentrate on her first and then Declan. We're going to come over and talk to Simon and we are going to try and ask to teach the ultimate practical spell. There's no point asking for regular practical magic because she knows all of the regular practical magic spells there are. And this is the spell we want that I had wanted from the beginning to see it in action because I have never made a sim a spellcaster when my sims, you know, knew the spell. So can she learn it? She still needs to learn quite a lot of potion recipes, so it's probably easiest just to ask for those potion recipes versus... So she got, she got a potion recipe, and did she not get the other one? Why did we not get the ultimate? Okay, well, we got a potion, but that's not... Did he say no? We'll have a deep conversation. Do we not have a good relationship? We don't actually have... Well, we have a good relationship. Don't get me wrong. But we don't have, you know, the max... We don't have a max relationship with him. I wouldn't have thought that was needed, but... Because, I don't know, we're going to take a photo with him. And maybe we'll do the same with Morgan, because I see that our relationship is just halfway up. We are friends. I wouldn't thought that was good enough. But maybe she just didn't ask either. Maybe that was all it was. Okay, so good. We're good friends. That's all I really want. So let's try this again and see if we have any luck asking to teach the ultimate practical spell. Ah, we're getting it. It just may have been she didn't ask. Yay, we learned the rite of ascension. So let us... Um, Freddy needs to become a spellcaster. Well, he doesn't need to, <laughs> but I want him to. So let's try and see if we can have success. We'll offer the rite of ascension and see how that goes. <laughs> I guess it's different when you're controlling them. I almost should offer the rite of ascension to someone else too, but we'll just stick with this for now. <laughs> It's definitely easier because then you don't have to go hunting around for those emotes. There, Freddy's a spellcaster. <laughs> he knows no magic, but he's a spellcaster. So he's going to come here and he is going to ask to teach a potion recipe. And, you know, since he's a spellcaster, let's swap him over onto this aspiration. And and we'll also swap him over onto the nature one and get that done. So, yay. Very good. And she's very, very confident. Did she do oh, from writing her book? That's why. All righty. Oh, we can't learn anything. How is your relationship with him? Oh, you don't have a very really good relationship with him. We're going to discuss interests. We're going to take another photo. I guess it wasn't a priority of mine to get the relationship up. So, that will interfere what with what we're doing. And, okay, so we have... Let's try this. We're going to just... We want to make them all. So we're going to magic, offer right of ascension. I just thought we would try that. <laughs> when she comes back. 
And then we will do the same with a Bonnie. And then they'll all be spellcasters. <laughs> Not that it's hard to become a spellcaster. It's pretty easy. Oh, Declan did some knitting. Oh, here we go. And where is your relationship now with Simon? You're friends. You're not very good friends, but you're friends. Um, things about new show. Not sure if that'll go over as well. Tell an engaging story. And chat about favorite holes. That's from rock climbing. I don't know how that'll go, but we'll try it anyways. And then when we're finished with all that chatting, we're going to ask again for a potion recipe and then we're going to ask again for a practical magic oh he's a geek so it did probably go over well because that one question was i think was it and this one we have uh colleen is a spellcaster which we did happen to see luckily <laughs> we didn't miss it and let's see now our bonnie yay she is due so so they're spellcasters. So let's um let's just concentrate on Nora and Declan to a certain extent. Declan, why don't we put you over onto your magic aspiration? So you need to know more spells and you need to level up your magic. So why don't we come here? Since you're here, why don't we discuss interests? Or maybe we should have had you go over there because maybe Morgan is going to come to us instead of us going to Morgan, which I really wanted to go to Morgan and not make Morgan come to us. So, oh, so Morgan's, he's here, so it's not such a big deal. So we're going to actually have her come here. Transport light here. Yay, really easy. And why don't we, since he's talking, they're talking to each other, we'll ask to teach a potion recipe we will uh we can ask for small loan because of our charisma you can ask for a large loan when you get to hire and we are going to we're gonna actually try and get our friendship up a little bit we'll ask about career and not gonna ask to push on the swing we'll ask about today and then we're going to try and ask to teach the ultimate mischief spell since we have to learn that from her here and we can't learn it at home. Whereas the other ones we can learn on our own. Oh good, we're good friends so that probably helped. So let's switch check in with Declan and um, get to know because he obviously needs to become... Declan and Morgan need to become better friends. Oh, it looks like we didn't get it. She looks like she, uh, let me see. Did we get a message? A Freddy learned Scrubberoo. Perfect. Okay, can we try this again? <laughs> Magic. Ask to teach a potion recipe. I think we just learned one from her. But I don't know. We'll go try. Don't talk to... J okay. Go keep, let, uh, let's keep talking to L. <laughs> We have a pretty good relationship with her. We can talk about potion mishaps and talk about the latest party. Enthuse about magic. And oh, we learned transcendent charmer. So let's try this. Try this again. The ultimate. So we're not actually have the. I guess we don't come over here very much, so it kind of makes sense that we don't have the best relationship with the sages. So did you learn any other spells? You became friends. We can do an inside joke. We can do a heartfelt compliment. Always good for the manners. And ask to teach untamed magic. Can you ask? Maybe you can ask and maybe you won't learn. Maybe we'll just have to come back. Maybe we'll have to invite them over to try and build our friendship before we come back. Because it might be easier if we're successful to build the relation, build, uh, build it. Oh, so we, I think we did. We learned Strange of High. I don't know what that is because I'm not really into the mischief magic. 
don't really tend to learn it and tend to tend to do it very much. But, sorry, I learn it because I want my Sims to learn all the spells, but I don't tend to use them very much. So we'll talk about some grilled cheese and I want to talk about that game. We can discuss fitness. Oh, we got a sentiment with Morgan, so maybe that'll help us help us have him teach us. Um, we're gonna ask to teach a potion recipe. No point asking to teach untamed magic. We could ask to teach mischief magic. That's a little different because we don't have them all learned yet. Abigail is doing some. Oh, what are you doing at all? You have top grades, so you can't try and hack your school grades, which I've had happen. And then they go down because they're not successful. <laughs> So let's try and see if we can get the ultimate untamed spell. So we got Potion of Immortality. I wonder how many potions we've learned. Let's actually swap her back over to, well not swap her back, well it is I guess, Purveyor of Potions. So she needs to brew potions and that's level two. And I think we tried doing that and then she got cursed. <laughs> <laughs> she did have one potion that she was successful with, but I forgot to put her over onto that aspiration. <laughs> and the poor girl's been, so she learned the spell, so yay. So let's just quickly check in on what spells and potions she knows by opening her spell book. Uh, so she has 9 of 9 practical, 8 of 8 untamed, 14 of 15 alchemy, and 4 of 7 for the mischief because of course I haven't really concentrated on that very much why don't we just see if we can learn um the mischief one mischief magic from her because I think we learned the ultimate one and the rest she can just practice practical or mischief magic at home and and hopefully learn learn them and we'll see whether we can learn one more potion recipe if we can get that so we got burglar eight can only burglarate so many like certain things I think oh no it was copy pasto you could only copy certain things that's what it was so we're gonna try and ask to teach a potion recipe see if we can learn that last potion before we end this and it is now 6 a.m. and we got the potion of curse cleansing so her last potion she learned to make was the potion of curse cleansing and so now she has it so they are all now spellcasters, and obviously I focus mostly on our Nora because she was so close in getting everything that I figured let's get it done with the magic. Not the the aspiration, but the learning of most of it other than a couple of mischief spells. But we're going to leave this part here. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! This has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge, let's plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much.